Hey guys, this is Heroic Flamingo, and welcome to my Guild Wars 2 class guide for the Tempest. In this video, I'm going to be looking at the Tempest's exclusive weapon and brand new weapon skills. Then I'll be looking at the healing, utility, and elite skills that the Tempest can use. Then I'll move on to the uh, unique profession mechanics for the Tempest, before then looking at the individual traits within the elite specialization to see how you can make yourself even more powerful. So if you're interested in playing as a Tempest, or if you already are and you want to know more, strap in and we'll get started right now. Alright, so before we go into the detail, I just want to give you a quick profession overview for the Tempest. So the Tempest is the first elite specialization for the Elementalist in Guild Wars 2, and is unlocked in the Heart of Thorns expansion. Wielding an off-hand warhorn and utilizing shouts, Tempest blasts out elemental power to support allies at close range and deal constant damage to enemies. Tempest will be able to overload their attunements at the penalty of recharge in order to deliver high pressure sustained damage, control and healing to nearby areas. So basically you get a new weapon, offhand warhorn, uh, you get a new type of shout, uh, new type of skill called shouts which is cool which affect everyone around you and then the main event is that you get to overload your attunements uh, further attuning with them and basically having a large effect to everyone around you uh, damage to enemies as well as uh, positive effects to allies uh, so we'll be going into all of that in this video so if you're interested keep watching and the first thing we're going to have a look at is the weapon skills okay so the first thing we're going to have a look at is the new and exclusive weapon for the tempest so um, it's the offhand warhorn which gives us two new weapon skills for each attunement so obviously you should already know by now that you can't actually weapon swap with the um, elementalist but the difference is we have four different attunements which give you um, four different sets of weapon skills so normally you'd only get two new weapon skills with the um, with an, a new offhand weapon but actually we're going to get eight because it's going to be two for each one and we're going to go through all of that right now so i've equipped the warhorn um, i'm currently in the fire attunement so let's see which new skills we get so our number four skill here is heat sink which has a 30 second cooldown give stacks of might to yourself then spread boons you have to allies. So this is going to affect up to five allies around us in a radius of 600, so it's a big radius. And we're going to give ourselves might, so we're going to be doing more damage. And then we're going to spread the boons we have to allies. Um, so we're going to copy those over. So that's pretty cool. So let's let's try this out now, see what this looks like. There we go. So we're going to blow out our warhorn. So we've got might, and we're going to spread the um, spread all of the boons that we have. To the allies around us just further buffing them so it's good in a support sort of uh, situation when you're in a group uh, that would be quite useful all right so our number five skill is wildfire which has a 30 second cooldown release a fiery torrent that burns enemies so it's going to um shoot out in front of us um a radius of 180 so not massive but it's going to be able to do it but a distance of 600 apparently it's going to damage the enemy it's going to last for eight seconds um and it's going to be doing damage and burning every one second so it's going to set them on fire as well so uh, let's have a little look see what this looks like all right nice so it spreads out quite far to be honest affecting look there you go everyone that enters it everyone in that area so pretty much any enemies near you and, and going in that direction, they're all going to be set on fire. It's going to do damage every second. Um, so that's really cool there. Alright, so next we're going to go to the water attunement and see which uh, skills that gives us. So our number four skill on the water attunement is Tidal Surge, which has a 35 second cooldown. So send out a tidal wave that regenerates and heals allies, then knocks enemies back. So it's going to... Um, do an initial heal to all allies in a healing radius of 360. It's also going to give them regen, so they're going to get more healing over time. And then it's going to do a bit of damage and knock back any enemies in the radius as well. So quite a few things there. Um, lots of positive ones for your allies, but, but still affecting enemies as well, which is cool. So let's try this out. Nice. So that's a, a really awesome animation there, as you can see. So it literally creates a wave that knocks back enemies and heals allies. So that's really cool. The number 5 ability on the water attunement is Water Globe, which has a 35 second cooldown. So blast out a watery orb that heals allies as it travels. Okay, so we're going to shoot this out and as it travels along, um, it's going to pulse four times 
um, healing allies along the way in a radius of 240 around it. So let's let's give this a go. There you go. So as you can see, this radius here is just going to pass over everyone. And everyone that falls within that radius um, is going to get some healing there. So that's pretty good. So that's going to affect any allies in that area. Okay, so air attunement. Our number four is Cyclone, which has a 25 second cooldown. Blast out a Cyclone that pulls enemies towards its location and grants swiftness to allies it affects. So we're gonna, so the Cyclone is going to pull enemies in, and it's going to give swiftness to any allies. So it, you're going to shoot it forward a bit like that one in the water attunement. Um, it's going to have a radius of 240 around it. It's going to impact enemies and pull them towards it, gaining swiftness to allies and doing a bit of damage as well. So let's let's see what this does. If I do it here, oh, it anyway. As you can see that affected all of them. Yeah, so it's pulling in any uh, any allies there, as well as um, gaining swiftness to any. Sorry, yeah, pulling in any enemies as well as gaining swiftness to any allies. So that's pretty cool there. So. A bit of, uh, you know, positive effects to allies, negative effects to enemies, so nice bit of both there. Our number 5 skill is Lightning Orb, which has a 25 second cooldown. So launch an orb of lightning that fires projectiles at nearby foes. So this is going to um, shoot towards enemies in a radius of 360. It's going to do damage to enemies around it, as well as um, applying vulnerability as well. So it's going to be shooting... Um, um, shooting projectiles at nearby foes this orb so let's try this out so as we can see it's sort of ground target we direct it so if i direct it towards this guy you see shooting projectiles along the way and then it keeps going and does a decent amount of damage to us so if you've got quite a few enemies around you shoot that down the middle of them and it's gonna all the ones on the side and in the middle it's gonna start shooting projectiles at them doing damage as well as putting vulnerability on them as well so they take the extra damage from all sources which is good. Alright so finally Earth Attunement. So my number 4 on Earth Attunement is Sand Squall which has a 30 second cooldown. Apply protection to you and your allies then increase the duration of all boons currently existing on you and your allies gain magnetic aura. So quite a few buffs there so it's going to give protection to us and our allies so um, we're going to take a less incoming damage um, it's going to increase the duration of all boons on us by an extra 3 seconds, which is cool. Um, and then we're going to gain Magnetic Aura, which reflects projectiles with magnetic energy for 4 seconds. This is in a radius of 600 around you and hits up to 5 allies. So let's see what this looks like. There you go, so that's going to give protection to us and our allies. It's going to increase the length of their buffs as well as giving them magnetic aura as well, which is really cool. So that's a nice little support ability there. And our final one is Dust Storm. This is a 30 second cooldown. So summon a Dust Storm that inflicts conditions. So this Dust Storm is gonna um, inflict conditions to enemies as it goes forward in a radius of 180 around it. It's gonna last for five seconds and it's gonna hit up to five enemies, giving them bleeding and blindness. So let's try this out. See, it swirls around, bleeding and blindness to all of these nearby enemies, kills them. So that's a really cool ability there with the Warhorn, um, so that's nice. So that is all of the new weapon skills that the Warhorn gives you. Uh, so the next thing we want to have a look at is the new and exclusive healing skill. Okay, so now I want to have a look at the new healing skill for the Tempest. So this is our first look at one of the Tempest's new shout skills. This is called Wash the Pain Away, and it's got a 25 second cooldown. Mists billow from you, healing allies in range and cleansing conditions on the final pulse. So this you're going to channel and it's going to have three pulses around you. The first one is going to do a nice decent sized heal to all allies in a radius of 180 around you. And the second one is going to heal in a radius of 240 around you, but it's going to be less healing than the first one. And then finally, the third one is going to be a, a healing and a 600 radius around it, so a big one, but a relatively small hill. And on that final pulse, it will remove a condition from all allies in the radius. Up to five allies can be targeted. So that's a pretty cool healing skill there. It's one that, obviously, if you're if you're doing solo, you're not going to want to use this because um, it's going to be it's more for affecting all the allies around you. 
Um, but it's pretty cool if you're in a group situation and you want to heal everyone. So let's try this out. Boom, there you go. As you can see, really cool animation there. Shoots it out in a few different waves and has those effects on us and our allies. So really cool new healing skill there. Okay, so that's the new healing skill. So the next thing I want to have a look at are the new utility skills for the Tempest. Alright, so now I want to have a look at the utility skills for the Tempest. So the Tempest adds these four new utility skills here, which are new shout skills. So I'm going to look at all of these one by one and try them out. So let's equip the first three now and then we'll look at the fourth one afterwards. So you can probably see that these are sort of one for each achievement here. Um, so you're probably going to want to stick the one in your bar which matches the achievements that you generally use. But we're going to have a look at them all here. So first up we have Feel the Burn which is a 25 second cooldown. So heat waves blast out from the player causing damage and granting fire aura to allies. So it's going to um, blast in a 600 radius around us, so pretty big there. It's going to target up to 5 people, and it's going to damage enemies, um, inflict burning on enemies, and also um, it's going to grant might and fire aura to allies. So fire aura envelops in a fiery shield that burns foes, grants might each time you're struck. Okay, so there's quite a few effects there. Uh, pretty cool uh, ability that affects everyone around you. So it is in, in a blast radius around you, so cool, as you can see. Big old radius, so set fire to all of those guys there, um, doing a decent amount of damage. And like I said, it would also be granting um, might and fire aura to uh, allies as well, which is cool. Next up, we got Flash Freeze, which has a 30 second cooldown. So unleash a torrent of ice on enemy locations, chilling those who cannot escape. Grant frost aura to allies in range. Okay, so we're going to be similar again to be honest, so it's going to be 600 radius around you, it's going to hit up to 5 targets, it's going to damage enemies and put shield on them, which means they're going to have reduced skill recharge rate and movement speed, and it's going to be granting regen, uh, so in, um, health regen and frost aura to allies, which um, reduces the incoming damage for your allies. So let's try this out now. There you go, so look, they're all chilled, they're all frozen, and then we had a nice little buff on us there as well. So that's pretty cool. So next up we've got Eye of the Storm, which has a 35 second cooldown. So imbue your voice with the element of air, massively increasing speed and breaking stun for nearby allies. Okay, so this similar one, so it's going to break stun, which is cool, on a radius of 600 around you. Um, what it's going to do is it's going to give super speed and swiftness to allies. Um, so that's pretty cool there, as, as well as uh, breaking stun for nearby allies as well. So all these effects are on nearby allies. doesn't seem to have any offensive effects, to be fair. So you can see, just positive effects there. Super speed, swiftness, break stun, all for you and allies around you. So that's pretty cool. Alright, so I've equipped the fourth and final new utility skill for the Tempest. So this is the Earth one, and it's called Aftershock. It has a 30 second cooldown. So call upon the earth to cripple and immobilize foes in the area around you. Allies in the initial blast gain a magnetic aura. So it's going to do a big blast around us with 600 radius. Um, it's going to cripple and immobilize enemies as well as giving protection to allies and magnetic aura which reflects projectiles with magnetic energy. So it's going to do some damage as well so there's quite a few effects there. So let's try this out now on these guys. Boom, there you go. As you can see, nice blast there. Immobilize cripple on all of them. So that's a really cool one there, which affects all the enemies around you um, and can be really powerful as well, stopping them from being able to move and get around. So it can be really useful if you're in like a group situation in a dungeon or something like that and you've got a big uh, mob of enemies and you want to slow them down. Alright, so that's all of the new utility skills for the Tempest. So the next thing I want to have a look at is the new elite skill. Alright, so now I want to have a look at the new and exclusive elite skill for the Tempest. So this is an elite shout skill called Rebound. and has a 75 second cooldown. So shout and infuse your allies with arcane energy. Allies who would take lethal damage while this is active, ignore the death blow and are healed instead. If the effect expires naturally, grant an aura based on your current attunement. Alright, so there's quite a few things to uh, get into here. So it's going to um, 
heal um, allies if they take lethal damage. So basically, it's going to last for five seconds, um, and us and allies around us we get rebound. So what that means is if any of us get a lethal blow in that time, so a blow that would have killed us, instead of dying, we're actually healed, and the effect ends. Um, but to be fair, if it ends naturally, so if after five seconds um, the the effect ends without anyone taking a lethal blow, then um, it's going to grant an aura based on your current attunement. So in fire attunement, this will be fire aura, which envelops in a fiery shield that burns foes and grants might each time you're struck. Uh, if you're in water attunement, you'll get frost aura, which minuses 10% incoming damage. If you're in air attunement, you'll get shocking aura, which stuns nearby attacking foes with an electric shock. And if you're in Earth Attunement, you'll get Magnetic Aura, which reflects projectiles with magnetic energy. So it's a pretty cool one here to buff your enemies. I mean, it's quite good in like a uh, if you're in a group situation and you're um, you know maybe in a bit of a dire situation and people are very close to dying, you use this and it's going to stop one of them from dying, which would be good. And even if it doesn't, after five seconds, it's going to give a nice buff anyway. So it's still going to have a positive effect whichever way it goes. So let's try this out. Boom, there you go. So as you can see, five seconds, we've got Fury, and after five seconds, bam, there you go, we've got Fire Aura, and look, any allies around us also get Fire Aura, or obviously a different aura, depending on which attunement we're in. Okay, so that is the new Elite skill for the Tempest. So the next thing I want to do is talk about the unique profession mechanics. Okay, so now I want to talk about the unique profession mechanics for the Tempest. So we've been through a couple of things already. Obviously, we've got the brand new unique weapon. So we've got the offhand warhorn, which because of all our achievements gives us eight new weapon skills, which is really awesome. Uh, we've then been through all of our shout skills that we've got along here, and they seem to attune to particular elements. And all of these things seem to have quite a good um, support uh, role to them. So they, they buff allies, as well as having some good uh, damage effects to enemies as well. A lot of good AoE uh, in a radius around you on those utility skills as well. So that would be... Uh, really interested to try that out in a, in a build as well but the uh, the main thing uh, the main new professional mechanic for the tempest is the ability to overload your attunements and we're going to have a look at that right now so what this does is when you're in an attunement you'll notice it probably looks slightly different so i've got overload fire here so when i change into an attunement as long as i'm in that attunement to, uh, for six seconds it will then become available so let me just show you if i switch to water attunement it's going to count down six seconds uh, before I can use this overload water skill. So as long as you're in that achievement for six seconds, you can then use overload water. And obviously, as you can imagine, there's one of these for each achievement. So it's four new skills, but they are, you know, really good, powerful skills as well. So we're going to want to try these all out. Um, they've got um, they've got cooldowns on them. So if you use the overload achievement, you can still continue using your weapon skills uh, within that achievement. But if you swap to it, uh, to a next attunement, the cooldown might be a bit longer before you can use it as the normal. But we'll have a look at that now. So let's go back to the first one, back to the fire attunement, and have a look at this first overload skill. So this is called Overload Fire and has a 20 second cooldown. So unleash your flames, granting might to allies and burning enemies. Finishing the cast creates a tornado that continues to grant might and burn foes. Okay, so um, as you see, it's got pulse damage uh, and it's going to burn enemies around you. So it basically turns you into a sort of um, <laughs> like a, a firestorm, um, which is going to affect all enemies around you. Last for five seconds. Uh, it's going to be pulsing every one second, doing damage, burning, and giving you might as well. Uh, you're going to get protection as well. So there's a couple of buffs there. Also breaks stun. Um, and it's in a range of 180 around you. So there's quite a cool, uh, few core cool effects there. And it says finishing the cast creates a tornado that continues to grant might and burn foes. So let's try this out now. This is our first one. Overload fire. Bring it on. So we can move around while we do this. Damaging and burning all enemies. And then see when we finish the cast there. It creates a uh, nice fire tornado in that place, which is going to do a lot of damage and a lot of burning damage to the enemy. So you can use that to move around the battlefield, damaging, setting fire to all enemies, and it's you know it looks really awesome as well. So so that's really cool. So now let's have a look at our water attunement overload. So this is overload water, as you can imagine. It has a 20 second cooldown. 
So create a surge of accumulated water magic, healing and cleansing allies. When the cast ends, heal the area and apply regeneration. Okay, so this one is going to, let's see, so it's going to break stun, as they all seem to do, uh, and a radius of 360 around you. It's going to target up to five allies. It's going to um, heal them. Uh, it's going to keep pulsing, and then at the end, it's going to do a bigger heal to allies around you in a radius of 360. Can hit up, it can affect up to five allies, and it also grants regen and vigor and protection as well. So a lot of buffs there, as well as healing. So um, uh, it's also going to cleanse enemies as well. So it's going to remo remove conditions. So pretty much all of the positive effects that we can have on our allies, it's going to do that. So this is going to be really popular if you're in a group of allies and you want to help keep them alive. Um, so yeah, let's have a look at this now. See what this looks like. I'm hoping for some cool animations here as well. All right, yeah, so awesome orb. We can see this radius around us. So we're going to be healing allies and then boom, at the end, big wave of water, nice heal on the allies and granting regen as well. As you can see, we've got vigor and regen on ourselves. So there's quite a few things. And as you can see, it just makes the cooldown a little bit longer there. So if I was to switch to an achievement straight away, it wouldn't have the normal like 10 second cooldown. You would have to wait the whole 20 seconds, but I don't think it's too much of an issue. Um, obviously it's only if you overload the achievement, which I, you know, you're probably going to be using quite a lot because these spells are really cool. So let's have a look at the air attunement. So overload air, which has a 20 second cooldown. So use your air magic to summon a Nimbus that repeatedly strikes nearby enemies. When this ability is complete, imbue your allies with electricity and create a lingering static region that strikes enemies at the same interval. So here we go, we're going to become some sort of storm here. Um, it's going to last for about four seconds. It's going to target a few enemies around us in a radius of 360. Also going to break stun. Uh, we're going to put vulnerability on the enemy, protection on ourselves, uh, and we're also going to get static charge, which means your next attack delivers a lightning strike. Uh, so we're going to imbue our allies with electricity. So we're going to. So it's not just us that gets a, um, a lightning strike on the next attack. That's all allies around us. So that's really cool. It should be doing decent amount of damage to enemies as well as uh, inflicting vulnerability as well. Um, so let's have a little look to see what this looks like. All right. So you can move around. Nice. All right, nice, really awesome damage. Massive stacks of vulnerability there. So as you can see, all of these, don't forget, they look like you're sort of channeling them, but you can move around as much as you want when you're using it. So you move around, shooting lightning down on any enemies in the radius, and then at the end, it drops down a uh, an AOE in the area, which is gonna continue dropping lightning, stacks of um, uh, vulnerability on the enemies, as well as, um, you know, do some cool effects for allies as well, giving them static charge and stuff like that. So that's a really awesome one. So let's have a look at the final one, the Earth Attunement. All right, so Overload Earth, which has a 20 second cooldown. Ready to rock. Ride your stored Earth magic around, granting protection to other allies you move over and crippling enemies. Then deliver a final immobilizing blast of power to the area, leaving behind a dust cyclone that delivers the same effect as the Overload. Okay, so this is gonna we're gonna be riding around on Earth, which sounds pretty awesome. It's gonna be you know damaging enemies around you in a radius of 240. It's gonna break stun. Um, it lasts for four seconds. Interval of one second. It's gonna damage, cripple, bleed, and immobilize enemies. It's gonna give you stability and protection. Um, it's gonna grant protection to other allies as well that we move over, um, and then it's gonna be a f the immobilizer is gonna be on the final blast. So. Whoever's within your radius on that final blast is going to get the immobilize on them. And it's going to leave behind a dust cyclone as well, which which uh, continues to immobilize, bleed, and cripple the enemies, which is pretty cool. So, so let's try this out now. Oh my god! All right, nice. Okay, that might be the coolest one out of all of them. So you're literally riding around. On a massive um, rock structure, which is really awesome, crippling enemies, uh, protecting allies, doing everything really. And then at the end, not only is it going to have Ready a big blast on everyone in the area, it's then going to leave that little dust cyclone as well, which is going to do extra damage to everyone in that area as well. So, a bunch of damage, a bunch of help to your allies, and those attunements, I think, um, those overloads, sorry, are really cool addition um, to the Tempest. Which obviously the whole idea is that you become even more attuned with the elements uh, with the tempest and you really get that feeling do you know what i mean you've got these massive fire water air and earth new abilities that you can use relatively often as well because they've got 20 second cooldown but there's four of them so you can use them all pretty frequently and i think they're really awesome and they can really help in the uh, in the battle 
So I think that covers everything for the unique profession mechanics for the Tempest. So the next thing I want to have a look at is the actual elite specialization and the traits within it. Alright, so now I want to have a look at the actual elite specialization and see the individual traits to see how they can make you even more powerful. So we've equipped the Tempest specialization here. It's got to be in your third slot as it's an elite spec. And just by having this on our bar, we get Warhorn proficiency, which allows us to wield the Warhorn weapon. And obviously we've already been through all of that. Your first passive here is Singularity, which is attain elemental singularity by remaining in an attunement for a period of time. Upon attaining singularity, you may overload the attunement to your vicinity, gain access to shouts. So this is all the stuff we've been through, the fact that you've got your new shout abilities and that you can overload attunements. So just by having that first passive, you will unlock those abilities. Okay, so first up, the first choice is Gale Song, which is cast Eye of the Storm when disabled. So Eye of the Storm is imbue your voice with an element of air, massively increasing speed for nearby allies. The effects of this shout linger, breaking stun for nearby allies. So whenever you're disabled, so any of those effects are on you, stun, days, knockback, any of that, you're going to cast Eye of the Storm, which is going to be pretty awesome. Next is Latent Stamina. So grant vigor to nearby allies when attuning to water. Restore, restore endurance to allies you grant vigor. Okay, so whenever you attune to water, you're going to grant vigor to nearby allies. And you're going to restore endurance to people you grant vigor. So that's just buffing your water attunement. So if you use that quite a lot, that's going to help you buff your allies. Unstable conduit. So grant an aura based on your attunement. Sorry, overloads grant an aura based on your attunement. So... Um, if you're fire, fire attunement is going to be fire aura, if it's water attunement, frost aura, if it's air attunement, shocking aura, and if it's earth attunement, magnetic aura. So you can have a look at those. So just by overloading, uh, you're going to grant those aura to yourself. Next passive is gathered focus. So your concentration is increased. Gain additional concentration while above the health threshold. So you're going to have an, uh, an extra 60 concentration, and if your health is above 90%, you're going to get another 60 concentration. Okay, here you have Tempestuous Aria. So using a shout grants allies might and inflicts enemies with weakness. So if you've got a lot of these new shout abilities on your bar, you're probably going to want to use this because it's going to give uh, extra might to allies as well as uh, weakness to enemies around you whenever you use one of those shout abilities. Harmonious Conduit. So gain stability and swiftness when starting an overload. So whenever you start one of your overload skills, um, you're going to be getting um, stability so you can't be knocked down and stuff and swiftness That's really good actually because um, Obviously you can move around in the overload skills This will allow you to move around quicker spread your effects around the battlefield as well as stability uh, Because if someone knocks you down when you're using your um, Overload ability you won't be able to get that final effect that you get uh, when you complete it So which was quite often like leaving a tornado behind and all that uh, so this will stop you from being able to be knocked, knocked down and all of that. So no one can actually interrupt it, which is really awesome. Here you've got Invigorating Torrents. So auras you grant also grant regeneration and vigor. So whenever you give aura to people, as we already saw, like Frost Aura and all of that, um, you're going to be giving them regen and vigor as well. Last passive is Hardy Conduit. So overloads grant protection. Protection gains increased damage reduction. So um, whenever you use an overload, you're going to gain protection as well. Um, and your protection uh, gives you more um, damage reduction than normal. So it's got an effectiveness increase by 20%, which is pretty cool. Next up, Transcendent Tempest. So time to attain singularity is reduced. Upon successfully completing an overload, gain increased damage. Okay, so this means that... Um, the time it takes you to attune to an element, which is normally 6 seconds, is reduced by 33%, which means it'll actually be 4 seconds. So you'll only have to be in an element, uh, in an attunement for 4 seconds to be able to use the overload. As well, um, once you've completed an overload, you're going to get Transcendent Tempest, which means you get extra 7% damage and 7% condition damage for 7 seconds. Next up, Lucid Singularity. So overloads remove movement impairing conditions and reduce the duration of incoming ones. So whenever you use an overload, um, you're going to remove uh, immobilized cripple and shield, um, and then you're also going to reduce the duration of any incoming ones as well, um, which is pretty awesome there. 
And lastly, we've got Ele Elemental Bastion. So, heal allies you grant an aura to. Grant frost aura to nearby allies when struck while below the health threshold. Okay, so whenever you grant an aura to um, your allies, you're going to be healing them as well, which is awesome. Um, and nearby allies, when they're struck uh, below the health threshold, so below 75%, they're going to be granted frost aura, which is going to reduce incoming damage. And that's in a radius of 360 around you, so that's really awesome. Okay, so that is all of the traits for the uh, Tempest Elite Specialization. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to throw together a quick Tempest build and do a combat demonstration for you. So you can see what it looks like when it all comes together. Alright, so I've thrown together a quick Tempest build. I've obviously got the exclusive offhand Warhorn, but I paired it with the main hand Scepter. Um, I've then got a nice selection of Shout skills here, just so I can show these all off for you. Um, and I'll obviously use all of the different overload skills as well, so we can see those in action. Alright, so let's see how this goes. Alright, so I think that pretty much shows off all of those cool new Tempest skills. So I think that pretty much covers everything for the Tempest. So if you have any further questions, then um, just post them in the comments below and I'll get back to you. Um, if you want to watch a video on any other classes or elite specializations, uh, then just check out the playlist on my channel because I've done pretty much all of them now. And if you want to watch a video that covers all of the classes and elite specs in one more condensed video, then I've got that on my channel as well. So thanks for watching guys, like and subscribe to be kept up to date and I will see you later.